Okay, this is going to be part two of Remnant Shall Be Saved. It's going to be a short lesson, right to the point. Only the elect of the nation of Israel will be saved. And the nation of Israel consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. But only the elect will be saved. So we're going to keep on busting out these uh, Bible verses. Zephaniah, uh, where are we going to go? Zephaniah 2 and 9. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Now, uh, Moab is going to be you so-called Chinese and Ammon is going to be you so-called Japanese. So the Lord said, he's, surely you shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah, even the bre breeding of nettles and salt pits and perpetual desolation the residue of my people shall spoil them and the remnant of my people shall possess them so this is only for the elect baby this is not for everybody with that with that jesus christ bullshit just call on the name of jesus no it's only a remnant according to election that's going to be saved and it's going to possess it shall possess uh, Moab and Ammon, you so-called Chinese and Japanese. Basically, the whole entire world, we're going to get that. Uh, Zephaniah 3 and 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lay down, and none shall make them afraid. And that's what's coming to you. To the elect in the nation of Israel. That's who Yahweh shall die for, man. But this, this is what this is all about. This ain't about everybody. This ain't all inclusive. This is just about the remnant. And, uh, and to prove that point, uh, Zephaniah, Zechariah 8 and 6. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes, says the Lord of hosts. See, everything is done. Everybody, everything is being done for the uh, elect's sake. Just like uh, back in Second Timothy, off the uh, previous lesson, I believe it's Second Timothy two and ten. Yahweh shall endure all things for the elect's sake. This is only for the elect. Uh, Zechariah eight and twelve. For the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruit. And the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of my of this people to possess all things. And that is, that pretty much sums it up right there. This is only for the elect, the remnant of the house of Israel, and uh, and for all the other people. This is what this is going to be your fate for uh, for the rest. Yeah, we got it. Zechariah 13 and 8. This is only for the remnant and for uh, the rest. The remnant is going to be the one-third of the house of Israel. And the two-thirds, this is going to be the fate of the two-thirds. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, says the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. And this is referring to the nation of Israel. Two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are going to die on this side in Babylon the Great. And wherever you scatter throughout the four corners of the earth, you will be put to death if you do not rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord and call upon his name, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. The one-third shall be left therein. 
and let's go and what happens after the third chapter of the third. And I will, uh, Zechariah 13 and 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name. That's why the name is important. And I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God. See, the one-third of the house of Israel is going to call on his name. And we ain't going to be calling on no fake-ass name of Jesus Christ. That was put together in the year 1524. And, uh, and you so-called Edomites put that name in our Bible. Our Lord and Savior name is Yahawasha in the Paleo Hebrew language. And we're going to call upon his name. And the Lord is going to hear us. And we're going to, and he's going to say, it is my people. And we shall say, the Lord, Yahawabashim Yahawasha is my God. Call Allah Yahawabashim Yahawasha. Bahashim Rakakadash, double honors to the elect, preaching his word in truth and sincerity. King Jesse, I'm out with another Bible lesson. Uh, I'll name it something like Remnant, only the Remnant will be saved. And catch you on another lesson. Hopefully this was edifying. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, call Allah Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah.